Hi Nick fans! That's right! I am Victor Hatiba from Nick Fans Brazil channel. Today I bring in this channel the Nick of Time show. Welcome! Welcome to the Nick Fans Brazil channel, man! Ah uh, man, thank you. I appreciate you for inviting me and I, I love the support from you guys overseas, man. Ah, great! First of all, uh, introduce yourself for Brazilians fans. All right. Uh, so my name is Jay Ellis. Um, I started a show called the Nick of Time Show in 2016. Actually, it was with me and a few friends. We started out doing this show um, just on SoundCloud. It wasn't even on YouTube, just on SoundCloud. Me and my friends talking smack about the Knicks in my friend's garage. And since then, it's grown and evolved and some some friends moved on some other things and some people joined the joined the crew and now the nick of time show is, is thriving right now on youtube years later in 2022 and we love to talk nicks um we love to put out nicks content and we love to interact with your fan our fans and our our followers uh, not our fans but nicks fans and followers so uh thank you guys for having me it's been a, a long journey to get here and hoping we get bigger and better and provide you guys with great content and entertaining content as well. How we start uh, your passion uh, with the Knicks? How did it start? It started a long time ago, man. I don't know. Like, I was a Knicks fan since I was a kid. I, I like me and my cousins, we used to just play basketball. So I feel like it was a, it was like a almost like a bonding experience to, to watch sports and play sports. So it started when we were kids. Um, but I was really the only Knicks fan out of my cousins. So I used to, they used to be Bulls fans. I used to get in arguments with them all the time. <laughs> and then my father, oh, yeah. yeah, all the time. My wife, my wife is two fans, man. Do you believe? Yeah, I still remember back in the day with me versus everybody else. And they was talking smack about my guy, Alan Houston. You can see I have Alan Houston poster in the back. This is my original Alan. This is my original Alan Houston poster from like 2000. In nine, wow. I mean, 2000, 2000, 1999. This is this is actually this poster is actually 20 something years old behind me. All right, <laughs> but I used to get I used to get in debates with my with my friends and my cousins about Allen Houston back in the day, and that grew into you know something else. I used to back in the day, there wasn't a Twitter, I used to go on Pro Sports Daily and, and look up Nick's news all the time to the point where my friends used to ask me about, oh, did you hear that such and such is getting traded? And I'd be like, I, I knew that like last week, keep up, man. Like you're slow with the news. So I was always on top of Nick's news. <laughs> to the, to, even to this day, my friend calls me Black Woj. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I, used to, I, I, used to, I used to just every day wake up in the morning, look at Nick's news and report it to my friends and talk basketball. And then one day, you know, I started listening to podcasts. And I was I used to listen to Anthony Donahue's podcast um, back in the day. And then when his podcast left, I went looking for more, and I couldn't really find any that I liked. Um, so it kind of started to see to you know, you know what? There's nothing out there that I like. Um, maybe I should start one. I haven't heard one in my particular voice yet, where it's more casual. Well, we we talk about basketball casually and kind of almost like a locker room talk. But now it's evolved to as casual and we, we, we speak facts as well. And so a couple of years later, me and my friends got together and started the podcast. Like I said, in uh, my friend's garage, my friend was a, a rapper at the time. He's a rapper. He okay. built his own studio in his garage. So our sound was already crisp and pristine from the beginning. And we got on there and we talked smacked about the Knicks and we posted it on SoundCloud and looked around and started picking up a little steam. And next thing you know, um, I, I was on Knicks fan TV because my, our Instagram was growing pretty fast because um, I'm an actual an artist. I'm a visual person and Instagram is a visual media. So I, we started growing on Instagram. I started doing, um, shows on instagram I, I started doing post game shows on instagram whoa instagram? yeah I, I started doing post game shows on instagram because i 
I wanted to stand out on Instagram. Um, and when I started doing post game breakdowns on Instagram on Instagram Live, CP saw me, and then we ended up teaming up, and I joined Nick's Fan TV for a while until that oh. until that ended, and then um, and then I came back to doing Nick a Time Show full time. Man, uh, in backstage, uh, we talk about the history uh, from uh, your jersey. Clyde Fraser jersey. <laughs> uh, do you can talk for our Brazilian fans uh, the history about this jersey from Clyde Fraser? Oh, about Clyde Fraser. Oh yeah, I wasn't around during the Clyde Fraser era, but you know that's you know last time the Knicks won was in the seventies when Clyde Fraser was was leading that chip. So I mean, one day I went to a Knicks game and it was actually handing out Clyde Fraser jerseys at the Knicks game. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that. Took that. And I was had my Clyde Frazier jersey on, and I, and I decided to make him one of the backdrop. And you know, Clyde Clyde Frazier is a goat, man. He, he's a goat. He, he got us a chip. Um, he was one of the realest point guards um, that the Knicks have ever had in a, in a long time. It, since what I don't know who you can say, Mark Jackson, Stephon Marbury, or so. Um, he's a guy who actually, um. Who was the first? He was the first athlete to have a shoe deal with Puma, so he's a trendsetter. And then on top of that, he's an announcer, and he's in the Hall of Fame as an announcer and a player. So you gotta respect Clyde Clyde Frazier, even if he wasn't there. You, you can just watch his old clips, which I have, and you can see that Clyde Frazier was that guy with the mid-range shot. He can pass the ball, and you can tell by the way he speaks basketball live on MSG that he has a wealth of knowledge. So it's all respect for Walt Clyde Frazier always. Uh, really, really, I love uh, bringing it in, in our channel. I hope, I hope so much uh, you like too, né? And mm -hmm. uh, come back, come back and, oh, yeah. in our no channel, uh, make uh, another uh, uh, lives or interviews. Absolutely. In the future, uh, Donovan Mitchell come in the Knicks, né? And uh, we'll go a uh, uh, interview. Uh, Absolutely. A jersey, a jersey, nah, with Love Mitchell. Me yeah, you. exactly, exactly. It's <laughs> absolutely. Pre-order that one, please. <laughs> Get that jersey early. <laughs> man, thanks so much, man. Thanks so much for coming this channel. I, mm -hmm. I like so much, so much this interview. <laughs> really, really, <laughs> man, really, really, uh, really. Uh, and uh, I hope, né, see you again in this future, né, in this channel. Man, I hope your channel, oh, shh. Me too, man. Me too. I, I feel like <laughs> I we're like, like on job. the cusp. I feel like we're like knocking at the door. <laughs> we're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> Like, like Barrett, not like Randall. Like no, Barrett. Like Barrett. Like Barrett. Yes. <laughs> like Barrett. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, straight up. And people, seeing this interview, oh, follow, follow uh, this channel, man. Follow in Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Nah? You're right. Yep. Invite, mm -hmm. invite Brazilians, man. Invite Brazilians now. I, I, all the Brazilians, you follow us on YouTube. The Nick of Time Show. Um, yeah, we're, we're all over the place. Just Google the, the Nick of Time Show. Don't forget the the. Google the Nick of Time Show. We're going to show up everywhere, especially on YouTube. But yeah, we're the Nick of Time Show on Instagram. Um, the Nick of Time Show on Facebook. On on Twitter, we at, we're the KOT Show on Twitter. But if you Google us, we'll pop up because we've been around for a while. And we have a blog as well. Um, we're, we're doing it since 2016. So there's a lot of content for you to, 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 uh, to listen to if you want, all right? People, so many, oh, very, very, very cool video from this guy in this channel. Appreciate oh, Interview with Mark Berman and uh, another guys. Oh, I, I appreciate this job of this alias like you are here in this appreciate channel. It. Appreciate okay? you, appreciate you. <laughs> Nix, please. Uh, great again, Nick. Great again. Yeah, yes, yes. Make us great. Bring bring <laughs> Donovan home. Trade Julius Randall, and let's get yes. this thing going. All right. <laughs> Take care, man. Take care. Right. Take I care, you, man. Absolutely. Bye, bye, man. Right. E aí, pessoal? Este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? 
E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Unifens Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Unifens Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não? Para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! I do, are you down with the orange and the blue?